Almost every mobile application has the chat feature. So one day, as a developer, you will also face with chat feature. So today, as a Flutter developer, we will learn how can we create a chat, social chats with Flutter. And also, not all is this all. We are using high quality packages, block pattern for the state management, DDD architecture, dependency injection packages, two different popular services, Firebase and GetStream, localization, camera plugin, local storage, and internet connection checker. This project sponsored by GetStream. And this video is not related to GetStream. I just want to mention about the project. So let's dive into the project. Of course, before beginning, I want to explain the images. For example, what we have. Of course, you can ask and I can explain to you. And I have to say a huge sorry for the sign-in section because I will skip it since I already uploaded a video about it. If you have already followed me, then you have to know the sign-in project that is published by me recently so that we will skip these parts. If you want to use this project, then you have to watch the sign-in project videos before to explain all the things. I have to explain some things. We will focus onboarding section, chat section, camera section and profile section. Actually, the profile section is easy to handle, but anyway, we will just pass some arguments, pass some informations, piece of informations and no more. So let's look at the images. After we open the application, we see the sign-in page and we have to sign in. After we sign in for the first time, this is the important thing, then we will face with onboarding page. If you are not signed in for the first time, then you will go to home page actually. So in the onboarding page, there are two things that we need to do that we need to complete, uploading an image and entering a username. Then, of course, we have also animated text here. Then we will see the chat section, I mean the home page actually, because we use bottom navigation bar and there are three main sections, chats, camera and profile. We can create a group chat, we can create one-to-one -one chat, we can use our own group name and apart from that, we can search chats, we can view chats like here. And if we long press the message, then we will see the some options like copy message, flag message or some images and more. And for the capturing section, I mean the camera section, we can capture, we can switch the camera, we can cancel the image, captured image. We can send the image here, for example. Then the final section is the profile page. As I said, it's easy to handle because we have some informations. I mean, piece of informations, of course. We have just one button, sign out button, and that's it for the overall project. If you don't want to watch the series, then you have to read before reusing the project. So, for example, you can find the phone number signing qubits project. You have to create a GetStream account, you have to create a Firebase account and Firebase project. And that's it actually. I know you are bored from the to-do applications, sign-in applications, and here it is. It's a challengeable project. You have to extend your skills because you are a developer. It doesn't matter if you are a Flutter developer or Java developer. You have to extend your skills. And that's it from me for today. So for the next videos, stay tuned and follow for more. Thanks for watching.